either a penalty or you know big time catch toe tapping by Devontae. It was just really good to see, man. And, and me and Tay had a good conversation late last night, and we kind of looked at each other with one of those nods and said, "All right, let's go." And then, you know, going for it on fourth and two, we go to our best player. Didn't happen. Then later in the game, it does. Right. So really good job by Tay, man, and just our team in general. Like you know, Tay has some drops too now, right? But then Tay came big when we needed him, and that's the most important. AP, first of all, congratulations on your first win as the head, official head coach. But you took six and a half quarters, but your offense is starting now to find an identity. Can you talk about that identity, please? Congratulations to our offense and our team. Uh, but we still got work to do. I love to answer that question, but there's there's a lot of meat on the bone. Uh, I'll be honest. I just, we got to run the ball better. But I did. I do say this. We came out in the second half, especially late in the third quarter, protected the quarterback. Quarterback did a heck of a job, you know, playing pitch and catch with one of the best receivers in, in the game. And a young rookie really stood out today, and Brock Bowers. And I thought it was just a good job of our guys being resilient, you know, having a hard hat mentality, keeping their composure, and being a more disciplined team. Is that I all told you. it really took for Gardner and just get the protection? Because in the second half, the way he played. Yeah, I mean, early on, I mean, we can blame a lot of people, but we have we had some breakdowns in protection. That's it's not good enough because you know it happens on the first play where we got what we won, and quarterback doesn't have time and. But once we figured that out and communication got better and guys gelling and said, man, enough is enough, they did a hell of a job in the second half. Antonio, 13 and nothing over the last nine and a half minutes. That's complimentary football that you're talking about, offense and defense. Say that. What was the first one? 13 nothing over the last nine and a half minutes of this game. Um, defense and offense complementing each other. You've yeah. talked about that a lot. Uh, I know it's almost a cliche, but does it literally sometimes just come down to that? Yeah, add special teams, yeah. right? They tackle inside the 20, they muffed, the, they shanked a the punt. But to be honest, I told these guys last night and throughout the week for us to beat, you know, the best team in football last year and still one of the best teams in football and the best football player in the game. And Lamar, it, we need all three units to play at their best. You like doing it for 60 minutes, but, you know, give it a shake, man. They all came together in the fourth quarter when we always talk about it. And all three phases showed up. Defense, you know, hey, what do you guys want to do? You want you know, touch back or you want to cover? Hey, coach, you want to cover the kick. Ball inside the 20-yard line. Hell of a job. Then the offense goes down there. Boom, we score. And then at the end, you know, we're – Looking, they punt the ball and they shake it, and Daniel Carlson goes out there and hits the game winner. AP, you referenced a lot of meat on the bone, a lot of things to fix, but how much easier is it as a coach to fix stuff after a win? A big, and a win where we were 10 point underdogs, disrespected the National Football League. I've been in the game a long time, not too many times teams get picked by to lose by 10 points. Our guys took it personal, and that was good, and uh, we got a lot of cleanup to do tomorrow. How do you describe Devontae's ability to make big catches on the stretch and obviously he's the focal point? What do you see in Devontae in games like this? Yes, I mean, I go back to, you know, when I first took over, it's like, hey, get, get the best player, you know, the ball. 12 targets, and again, we were, wish we could have some more out there, but, you know, when you got your best guy, you're going to get somebody else, and you think you got an opportunity to make plays, and I thought Gardner, as the game went on, just kept taking shots, keeping shots, and either a penalty or, you know, big-time catch, toe-tapping by Devontae. It was just really good to see, man, and, and me and Tay had a good conversation late last night, and, we kind of looked at each other with one of those nods and said, all right, let's go. And then, you know, going for it on fourth and two, we go to our best player. It didn't happen. Then later in the game, it does. Right? So really good job by Tay, man. And just our team in general. Like, you know, Tay has some drops too now. Right? But then Tay came big when we needed him. And that's the most important. Speaking about best players, Max Crosby, it almost gets taken for granted sometimes, but he was sort of a man possessed out there. Best right? player on the field today. Yeah. And that's what I asked. I asked our guys, you know, their best versus our best, who's going to be the best when we are, you know, standing after the game. And I think our best play, our two best players stood up, 17 and 98. You talked to uh, Coach Mesa about the, how close the team was, the closeness. Is that kind of the key for a one to let it come back from behind and kind of went down the stretch? I think so. I mean, because it was a dog fight in the first half. Probably wasn't pretty, you know, going in half at nine to six. And I told these guys at halftime, like, look, we got to come out with a little bit more juice. And we did, but it didn't, it didn't translate on the field in the third quarter right away. But um, what I love to see with our team, man, I, Spills interception. I look out there and there's like 50 guys on the field or 40, whatever many guys dressed. We kick the game, you know, win the field goal. All those guys out there celebrating. And it's just what I like to see when I turn around and I look to the sideline and I don't see nobody all on the field. I'm glad the referees haven't, officials haven't done anything to us. But just the celebration and the joy to watch each other uh, make big plays. You've talked about getting off to a fast start this year. You go back on to Las Vegas now one and one. Going home for two games, how, how, how big was just being able to split those games? Man, it's big. We, I mean, the crowd, our crowd has traveled, you know, outstanding the last two weeks. In L.A. and here in Baltimore late in the game, they showed up. But it's time for us to put on a show back in Vegas at home and take care of home. And Raider Nation, we're coming. We're looking forward to you. That's it. Thank Thanks. you, guys.